I want to make one more observation about Martin Heidegger's relationship to the Nazis. This time, while I'm speaking, there will be a photograph on the screen for a while, a photograph of hands. Actually, these are the hands of Adolf Hitler. And let me explain to you why they're relevant. The last time Martin Heidegger and Karl Jaspers saw each other in June 1933 at Jaspers Hall in Heidelberg, they argued. Jaspers asked how a man as coarse as Hitler could govern Germany. And Heidegger answered, Culture is of no importance. Just look at his marvelous hands. Hitler's propagandists had a close-up photograph in widespread circulation of the Fuhrer's hands, held in the air, in front of and slightly above his head, palms facing outward, the thumbs and forefingers forming a triangle with the other fingers outstretched over a caption that read, The Fuhrer's hands organize his speech. Heidegger, who respected craftsmanship and the work of hands, somehow found meaning or promise in that. Gertrude Jaspers survived the Nazis only because the Jewish wives of German men, especially distinguished German men, if their husbands did not desert them, were the last group of German Jews targeted for destruction by a regime that always took a path of least resistance towards its goals. Jaspers was one of those few men who stood with their wives, and his character, fortitude, and clarity of thought helped to keep them both alive. The final time that Heidegger visited their home in 1933, Gertrude Jaspers spoke directly to him about the hospitality he had accepted in her house over many years, and about how awful and frightening she found the Nazis with whom he had associated himself. Jaspers lamented, that Gertrude cried when reading the newspaper, and Martin, oblivious to the moment, or unwilling to face it, said, Sometimes crying helps to make you feel better. Then he left, never properly saying goodbye. Despite the foolish grandiosity in Heidegger's embrace of National Socialism, the actual impact of his actions cannot be underestimated. His intellectual stature helped to legitimize the Nazi seizure of power at a time when many ordinary Germans were still wondering whether the Nazis had the sophistication and intelligence to govern Germany. It was no small thing that Martin Heidegger had confidence in them.